Hey guys, Quinn and I are back today to show you the February braid box video. We've got our box right here. We're gonna open it up and show you what you get in this box. And then we're gonna talk about how you use these items to make a really cool hairstyle. So first thing you get are some heart stencils. I put a, a different variety of hearts in there that are pretty fun. So, and then you're gonna get some dry shampoo and some pink hairspray. And last but not least, some bobby pins with magnets on them. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna hand Quinn back these bottles. You're gonna take these stencils and your bobby pins and magnets. These are actually gonna hold the stencils onto the hair. It keeps it kind of hands free. And then you're gonna take the dry shampoo, put a heavy layer on so it actually turns the hair white. And then you're gonna add the pink hairspray on top of it. So no matter what color hair you have, even if it's black, you're gonna be able to see the pink hearts are gonna pop out and it's a really cool effect. So you wanna start, I wanna show Quinn's hair to you. So you can see we're gonna do this section right here. I've already hairsprayed it just to keep it really smooth and neat and the hair is dry. You don't wanna put dry shampoo and the hairspray onto wet hair. You're gonna start with the dry. And with that, we're gonna get started. Are you excited? Yep. yep. Begin by laying out where you want the stencil to go. Place one bobby pin where the front of the stencil will go. Then place another bobby pin near where the back of the stencil will rest. Lay the stencil in place and then place a magnet on the stencil over the area of the front bobby pin. Place another magnet over the back bobby pin. Make sure the stencil is lined right against the hair and is not raised up at all. Next, spray the dry shampoo over the hearts until the hair appears white. Do this gently while keeping the can moving. Allow this to dry slightly for maybe a minute or two before spraying with the pink hairspray. Next, gently spray the pink hairspray over the hair, keeping enough distance between the can and the hair that the spray doesn't hit the hair too forcefully. Because the hair is primed white from the dry shampoo, it doesn't take too much pink hairspray to make the hearts pink. Let the hearts rest or dry slightly, then carefully slide off one magnet and lift the stencil up and away. Gently remove the bobby pins. If you have any overspray of either dry shampoo or pink hairspray, use a damp paper towel to wipe or dab it away. So we're all done with the stencils. We wanted to show you how it turned out. You can see how fun and bright that pink turned out. If we hadn't have used the dry shampoo, that color would not have been as bright as it is. And I'm actually gonna show you what it would look like just on Quinn's hair without the dry shampoo. So we're gonna spray a little pink on there. But see the difference? So you can see a little bit of pink there and then Quinn, too red. See, bright pink, not so much pink. So that's the difference with the dry shampoo does for this technique. It actually primes the hair, makes it white so that when you put the pink on top of it, it actually shows the true color. So we hope that you liked this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe so you see what videos we're doing next. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.